startups and VC investing, they're all about imagining a future before most other people can see it coming, right? But they're also about getting ahead of long-term trends that can be obvious to anyone because they're waves of history that you can see coming. So as the husband of a high-end architect, this piece from the journal was interesting to me. The assumed arrival of drone deliveries is already impacting the design of homes, apartment complexes, even whole neighborhoods, with possibilities like drone landing pads on mailboxes or rooftops. And look, if you live in a doorman building or any community that takes delivery of packages for you, clearly people years ago didn't design for the coming of e-commerce with the deluge of daily deliveries. So maybe a bit of urban and suburban planning is really in order. Quote, Valkari, a Chicago company founded in 2017, is developing drone delivery mailboxes that can accept all types of shipments, from retail packages to restaurant meals. The top of the mailbox acts as a landing pad, and the drone activates a retractable door to a space where packages can be safely deposited, explains Valkari founder and chief executive Ryan Walsh. Mr. Walsh says he envisions drone delivery mailboxes mounted on rooftops and windowsills of homes, or part of a centralized bank of mailboxes that can serve a neighborhood or apartment complex. Someday, drone delivery mailboxes will be as common as a garage, he says. The idea isn't far-fetched. In South Florida, the Paramount Miami World Center condo building was designed to include a skyport, a platform on the roof that could someday accommodate vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL, vehicles as a shuttle for residents. While the possibility of air taxis is years away, quote, I could see package delivery as happening sooner, says developer Dan Kodsey, chief executive of Royal Palms Companies. We have capabilities because elevators run all the way to the roof. He adds that the Skyport concept has been a selling point at Paramount Miami, where apartments are on sale from about $750,000 to $11 million for a penthouse. Some people bought their units knowing that it could potentially raise the value of their property, he says. Another concept for potentially incorporating drone delivery into residential development comes from Walmart. The retailer submitted a patent application for a delivery chute mounted onto an apartment building. Drone deliveries would be dropped through the chute and onto a conveyor belt, which would transport packages into the building's mailroom for distribution. When the majority of homes are outfitted with drone delivery mailboxes and landing pads, they could form the cornerstone of smart cities, Mr. Walsh projects. Outfitted with solar panels, the mailboxes could provide their own electricity and even generate enough electricity to sell back to the grid. Data from meteorological sensors could ensure that drones will be able to land safely, with the added benefit of making weather forecasting hyper-local. Masses of mailboxes would also provide a place to put transportation sensors that could report real-time road and traffic conditions, or telecom technology that could bolster wireless signals, making cities smarter. Mapping sensors would be particularly useful in remote or rural areas which tend to be the least mapped." End quote. Of course, back in the last roaring 20s, the 1920s. There was briefly a fad for putting spires at the top of tall buildings, skyscrapers like the Chrysler Building and the Empire State Building here in New York City. The idea was radio was the future. You needed to put antenna on top of the tallest things you could find. But also, they would be used as mooring masks because everyone assumed by this point we'd be traveling back and forth in zeppelins and it would be easy to disembark at, say, the Empire State Building from your Zeppelin ride. That, of course, didn't quite turn out. So it's funny to think about how designing for the future back in the past can leave built features that we're still stuck with even 100 years later. 